Hi guys, it's Amy with A2Z Stamping, and today I wanted to show you one of our background stamps called Diagonal Stripe. The background stamps are fun because, well, you can make your own background, um, and the nice thing about it is you can do them in any color you want. This one obviously is the Diagonal Stripes, and I thought I'd show you a really simple card uh, using this and show you um, the different ways to do it. Okay, so this stamp, it is, uh, you can get it on a wood block or um, you can get it in clear mount. And so I've got it right here. So it's a pretty big stamp. You are going to want the block, to, either this block to use it. Let's see, which block is this? This is the F block. So I like to put it on my F block, but you can also use it without a block at all. You could just leave it flat on your table and ink it up and then lay your paper over the top and press. So I'll show you. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to be stamping in Smoky Slate. I wanted to make a masculine card, and so I thought Smoky Slate and Calypso Coral would go really well together. Okay, so what you want to do is go ahead and ink up your background stamp, and you want to make sure you get really good coverage on the whole thing. Okay. The Smoky Slate is not a very dark color, so sorry about that. My husband called. Okay, so you want to ink it up, get good coverage. All right, that looks good. So I'm gonna close up my ink pad here. And I'm gonna be stamping this just onto a piece of Whisper White cardstock. And this here, oh, let's see, this is cut at four by five and a quarter. And so if you were, if you didn't have the block and your stamp pad was like this, you would wanna just lay your paper on there and then press, 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 press. Um, and that works pretty well. But I'm actually gonna stamp onto it. So I need some background paper. And I'm just going to lay this down here. And my stamp is bigger than this piece of paper. So I know it's going to get covered on the whole thing. And I'm just going to go right over the top. And then press. Press, 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 press. Okay, and when I lift it up, my paper is going to actually still be on there. And that's fine. And I like to just go through and press it one more time. You might get some ink on your fingers, and that's okay because it's... Oops. That's what I just didn't want to do. Did you guys see that? That's okay, actually, it still looks good. I moved it a little bit, but I'm happy with how this turned out. Okay, and we want to clean off our stamp like usual, and this does fit on here, so scrub, 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 scrub. And it's all clean. And I can put this back in the case. Put my giant block away. So this just fits nicely right back in here. Okay. So here we go. So I did get a little bit of coverage, not fully right there, but you know what? I'm okay with it. I kind of like how it looks. So you'll want to make sure if you want really deep, dark lines that you're going to want to make sure your stamp is really inked up and then you're going to want to press, press, press to get on there. But I think that looks pretty cool. Okay. So now I can put my super simple card together. So I have a piece of smoky slate cardstock. This is your standard eight and a half by five and a half. And I'm gonna fold it to make my card. Let's see, okay. Grab my bone folder. Okay, and my card's gonna open this way. And then I'm gonna glue with my snail this right on the top. As I told you, this is just a really basic, simple card. Okay. Like so. All right, and then I'm gonna take my silver metallic thread. Let's see if I can find the end here. And I'm gonna just wrap it around my hand a lot of times. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, I'm gonna go about 16 times, cut that off. Okay, so I have this and I like to twist it right into an eight. That keeps it from kind of going all over the place. Okay, and I'm just gonna hold on to it real quick. And I'm going to just put some adhesive right here in the center of mine. And I'm gonna push that down. Okay, and I know that kind of seems like, wow, that's a lot going on right there. Don't worry, it'll all work out. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside for a second. All right, and I need a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. Let me grab a scrap piece here. Come on. Okay, and I have the, this is the stamp 
the stamp from the Soft Sayings card kit. I just bought one of these um, narrow cases and put the stamp set in here so that I could keep using it because I already put the cards together. And I'm going to do the happy birthday from that. Okay, let me put it on a block. And I'm going to stamp that in some Calypso Coral ink. I think Calypso Coral goes so well with, oops, come on stamp. I guess I should get it on my block first. Oh goodness, Amy. Here we go. It goes really well with the smoky slate. Okay, and we're gonna stamp happy birthday. Oops. Looks like I need to re-ink my Calypso Coral. Let me try that one more time. I'm still not getting it on there all the way. You know what, we're, what I'm gonna do? Let me show you guys. Well, actually, no, I'm not gonna show you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna try one more time. Remember, every piece of paper has two sides. I definitely need to re-ink my Calypso Coral, though, it looks like. Okay. Happy birthday. There we go. Perfect. And let me clean my stamp off. Okay. And this is all clean. Put this back in here. Close up my ink. And then I'm going to grab my one and a half inch circle punch. I'm going to punch that out. It just barely fits in there. Happy birthday. Okay. And then I'm going to grab my one and three quarter inch circle punch. Oops, goes this way. And I'm going to cut out some Calypso Coral. All right. Put these away. Okay. And I'm going to mount this guy onto this one. Like so. And I'm going to stick some dimensionals on the back. Let's go one, two, and three. Peel these off. One, two, and three. Okay. Now let's grab this back. Okay, and this kind of got twisted. That's okay. So I want it to go kind of at a diagonal like so. So now I'm going to stick this one right in the center. Happy birthday. And that'll help hold this in place. Now if I have any weird ends like this, I can just trim this down. And this piece is kind of doing its own thing. Actually, I'm just going to cut this one off because I don't like what it's doing. There we go. Okay. And the last thing I'm going to do just to finish up my card is I have some Calypso Coral enamel shapes. These are from the Subtles collection. And I'm going to use the little stars. And I'm just going to stick a star on each side. I just thought it added a little extra to the card. And that is my super simple card using the diagonal stripe. Here's one I did earlier. So you can see my stripes are a little bit darker on this one. See that? So cute, right? So that's a super simple card using the diagonal stripe stamp set and this metallic thread. You Sometimes I wonder what to do with that metallic thread. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and find me on Facebook, A2Z Stamping. Thanks, guys. Bye.